Okay, we continue create point here. Let's separate the menu and reach to extract point. As you can see in Rhino, we have a lots of kind of file to uh, <clears> the <throat> object poly poly surface surface meshes and uh, subdivision surfaces. If you select all and here click show to control points as you can see each object has its own control point to uh, edit it for example here you can change the control point any object has control point this tool extract them for you for example it's not important meshes or anything for example in this object we have an mesh click it to select object first and then extract points and as you can see it extracts through four points because in its settings click as you can see <coughs> it has its settings output layer it put in the current layer that it is uh, activate here default layer that you can activate it any layer here you can see in a current and the output is point when you click once it changed to point cloud between point cloud and point if you um, change the object to the point uh, then select here it says uh, the software tell you please select the object for extraction select the object click in the object not in the point and then for ending the command right click or enter as you can see it turns all the point it is to like all the control point here and as you can see it's um, go to this layer okay the color is as the same if you select the object oh sorry select the select the object and extract as you can see you cannot change any settings first you have to if you want to change settings select the object and then select the common and then select object to change its settings you can change it to the point cloud uh, select that object right click to done and this is point cloud i will be explaining the difference between point and point cloud but as you can see they are very smaller and they are different because they are in a one file but they are individual point that it reduce and or increase the uh, far size in rhino but the point cloud is very light and easy to navigation this is mesh you can extract the mesh you can extract for example this subdivision here as you can see it's control point select the command change it to the point as you can see you can uh, output layer to input or uh, all the current the current is you can set the default or any layer here explain the layer in a separate lesson but you can it's in the point click and then the right click to end the comment and as you can see it's extract its point exactly that the position you can extract exactly curves as you can see we have this curve that has its control point the tool extract them for you as you can see it's extract it's very useful and it's using a lot of common and you know it's there Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.